Yo, we're back with our boy from London Town with the hot new Billy Body. What it do? Boom. Yeah, it's not the Vin, it's not the Vince stuff. I haven't like found anything out more about that. But I, what but what I will say is, I did tell you a, a few months, not a few months, a few weeks ago that there was a meeting on that that Friday. You remember the original story came out on a Thursday, and then I said that Nick Khan had Nick Khan had come down to SmackDown for the to have a meeting before the creative meeting, which was which was about eight in the morning, and it was the, the morning that they announced that Vince had been. Um, had been removed as the chairman, right? Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. So, and I, and I, and one of the things I said was that was a whole cards on the table. How many dead bodies are there? Where are they buried? Who knows where they're buried? Kind of meeting. So, I, I don't think that the shareholders, and I don't think that Nick Khan or or anybody is surprised about what's come out. I think they're like ready for for this kind of stuff. I just don't know how the WWE can address it because obviously the overreaction that I glanced at on Twitter again today is, oh, he's done now. That's it. Like he needs to go like short. He's still head of creative. All he did was step down as CEO, which he's still, from what I understand from people that work there, he's still in control. It's his company. He still has 51% of it. Like he will do whatever he wants to do. If he's still head of creative. Yeah. Right. And his daughter's in charge. Guess what? You know, so he's still still, in charge. And he's still going to put himself on, on TV again. The more people say, that he needs to go, the more he's going to put himself on, on TV. And I don't think he gives a f- what Sean Ross Sapp or anybody, or anybody on, on Twitter says it, thinks about it. Like anywhere else, well, Trump did the same f- and his backers don't give a f- And here's the other thing. Bro, you were talking about, A, the most powerful man that's ever existed in our industry, one of the most powerful men in our country, one of the most well-connected and richest men in our country. Nothing's going to happen to him. No. I and this is you know you gotta you, you when when you get it like the because when the wrestling bubble gets involved in issues like this it's just it's just a disaster because like you know everybody like there's a, there's a it's polarized between WWE fans and AEW fans and you know Vince's got to go and let, let's be honest bro we've been doing these show reviews for God knows how long and I think most people agree. That if Vince McMahon was out of the creative process and you got younger people and there's a 76 year old man, it's like things would probably be for the better. But you have to just, that does not matter based on the facts of, of like what happened here. A very rich guy had extramarital affairs and instead of not letting it get out, is paying the people exorbitant amount of money to, to keep it quiet. Okay. My thing is, is like, okay, you know, it's kind of weird, like, wow, this, all this got out. It's like, you know, Vince is out like, like $12, $12 million right now. And the, the money he paid to keep this stuff hush hush is just down the toilet. That they, they made bank and everything. I want to talk to you about like, because this is interesting. Because like, there's a lot of details and speculation, right? And one of the details was he paid a talent from 2005 to like, you know, basically keep quiet. And the thing was basically that the talent uh, performed. <laughs> And then wanted the, the then wanted it to continue. The talent didn't want to continue, and everybody's speculating based on like quotes and stuff that made at the time. And this is Christy Hemi. I was about to okay. say that, but I didn't know if we were allowed to say. It. I, no, I'm just talking. I'm, I'm saying this is reported speculation. Okay, yeah, which remember, is like, so I'm not. I'm not saying. Time, like, I remember right. at the time Christy Hemi left WWE, and right. there was a report that she had slept with some higher up, and everybody thought that she the it Triple H had cheated. The right. Triple H had cheated on Stephanie with her, and right. it's obviously. Now it's it's not, is it? It's Vince. Right, so. right. But the funniest thing about this thing is the payment is coming from 2018 when she went to like said this. I'm going to bring this up, and it's like a two that, and then then the payment was made in 2018. That, that's just what I'm reading because like uh, what we're right now is like I'm not reporting these as facts. I'm just going to be reporting on things that I'm reading online because this is just happened as a recording. Like suppositions. A few hours ago. Suppositions. Okay, is that bro? That's very shady. I mean, it's like, you know, everybody, everybody's like, Vince is like terrible. It's like, I mean, I'll just bring this up. It's it's kind of like, you know, kind of not very ethical by the girls. I mean, this is, this is extortion. And, and, and any other thing that you have, okay, give me a, Whip, how much women. is it going to, how much is it going to cost for me not to tell everybody what we did? But I'm just saying like the, the, the funniest thing about this story is, is that. Right. I don't understand. You know, everybody gets so up arms. Like I told you yesterday while we were on the show, Billy. This notification came up on my computer and it goes, Elon Musk, father, two kids or some. Right. And I'm like, okay. And so, I mean, 
throughout history, bro, you know, that's one of God that men have a weakness and it's women and extramarital affairs and 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 rich men with a lot of time on their hands and maybe not much game and they don't want a lot of time of courting and trying to convince the chick to do this and do that says hey look here's a hundred grand sleep with me for a year shut the up and we keep it between us and bro that happens a lot well let's just put put things in perspective too the people that are criticizing this definitely need to put to the may he who is may he who is without sin cast right. the first stone test it's like you probably got a lot of people that have done the you know have extra marital of marital affairs that but now it's the famous guy that maybe I'm an AEW fan. I hate WWE. It's like I'm gonna Vince should be fired. You know, fire. You know, like I'm like it's like come on, man. It's like if you, if you can sleep with, if you can have an extramarital affair, there's nothing illegal. This is a, what, what does that have to do with his business practice? This is a nothing. thing between him and his wife. They're saying this. It, it, you're, here's, you're, the other, here's the other thing that, that no one talks about, but I think if you get if you can get Russo on the show um, for, for five ten minutes, he'll tell you this whole story. And he told me and Cab about it before. Vince, Vince and Linda are not together. They haven't been together and right. haven't haven't slept in the same bed together for for over a decade. Like they, 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 their marriage is a marriage of convenience. They've stayed together for her political career and for and for his and for his business. Like it's a, it's a marriage of convenience. But I, but but I think well, what what we don't know, Billy, and this could be the only the only thing is in his thing is. Do women feel coerced or they feel it th- that if they didn't sleep with him, they're going to lose his job? Or did he say as much? So those are other things to take into account. Yeah, it it's says true, here but, that but the, two, the 2005 girl who we speculated earlier was Chrissy Hemi was uh, demoted and her contract wasn't renewed when she turned down another advance. So that's that's one of the things. OK, but okay, that's all right. So so that's problematic. But that's right. 2005 before the publicly traded company, correct? No, so no, 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 no. They were publicly traded in 1999. Oh, they were in 1999. Okay. Well, yeah, but honestly, that's 17 years ago. Like, that does not affect – like, you're not – if, if you're trying to sit there and go back 17 years and say that would affect the stockholders or the fiduciaries, <laughs> that, 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 that's an insane argument, right? But, no, uh, but the argument is you can't be – you know, it's like if right. I use my position right. to tell a girl right. in AAA, yo, unless you suck – I'm going to fire you. You know, okay, that's so abuse of power. Here's, here's the difference. Remember Jeff, Jeff Bezos and CNN, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Not Jeff Bezos. Excuse me. Um, uh, who's a CNN guy? Um, head of CNN, uh, Jeffrey Zucker. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Jeff Zucker had a girl that he was having an affair with and kept paying her forward. Like she would get advanced. She would get advanced. She would get, she would get raised. I she would get like, he was, br- he was bringing along with her. Right. So he had to resign. Because the parent company, like he's not the owner, he was just the head. And now the new discovery people came in, they have to, he has to answer to the discovery people so he can get fired. The difference with this case is, is Vince McMahon is the owner. Like, like that's the, there's no, there's no, like, you know, a buddy above, like he's not owned by anybody. There's, he doesn't answer anybody. It's Vince McMahon and he's got a 51% shares of the company and he's a majority stockholder. So it's like you could sit there and say, like, from a moral standpoint, well, he, they should let him go. But like, but this is a different situation where it's not like he's beholden to any, you know, like, like somebody that can fire him. Yeah, but there so is, there is, a, um, this has happened before. The guy that owned Uber had more uh-huh. votes on the board, had fifty one percent of the company, and they forced him to resign. Forced resignations a thing. What do you do though? There was just uh, a, a climate in the company of sexual harassment, and, <laughs> and all got blamed on him. You know. Well, sexual so. harassment is different than than. Sleeping with people that are um, consensual at first, consensual relationships, and then then but ending my, my it. And saying, I'm going to tell is, people about it if, like, you right. know, unless but you my only it, point you know? is how consensual was it? <clears throat> right. That's, how that's, that's, coerced that's did they feel? Right. You know, and how much of a d- was Vince about it? You these know what these I'm are the, these are the facts that need to be addressed to determine right. what course right. going. And that's, like that. that's what I bet the, what the board is thinking of. Right. That's the conversation they're having. Well, exactly. well, it's kind there of a basic some, understanding of statute of limitations. There has to be some this. protection for, for men. Like men, men are like the worst treated, like um, the worst treated like species out there. Like everybody, you can do anything. You can do anything to men. Like you could, you can take their job. You can cancel them. Take you their can, kids. Like, uh, you, yeah, yeah you, you take especially their white men. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, I mean, it is. And, it is right. Well, what happened was is because of all the years of white privilege, 
now everybody's like, oh, it's our turn <laughs> to there, get back. But there, like a lot of those guys had nothing to do with what happened in the past. So you're making people pay for past transgressions that they may not even f-ing agree with. You know, and, I and, bet and, you there's a lot of white guys today that did not agree with slavery. But you see a white guy, oh, f-ing racist or whatever your right. thing is. Right. And so now they're getting dumped on real hard. And, and, and that's why that's why. And let me just say this. That's why Trump was brilliant. Because he went to the white guy that felt that he was being attacked in his own country by immigrants, you know, LBGTQ, trans, you know, Hispanics, blacks, everybody. You know, he felt like a minority in, in when he's really the majority. But yeah. Right. right. But, but plus two is like the uh, – um, when you talk about statute of limitations, it's kind of not fair if you think about it. To have something like, like, like the girl, you're going you're gonna to have all the facts in your head. And keep them in fed, and like seven, and then spring it on somebody years and years later, where they're like having trouble now trying to remember, you know, that far back. And like, there's you're kind of sketchy on the details because it was so long ago, and you're being attacked by somebody that's got a vivid memory of it and has been waiting for a long time to like hit you with this years mm-hmm. later and everything. And like, you sound kind of like not credible because it's been a long time and you don't remember like like they have. You know, for, for like that period of time. That's what I said. That, that, that is reasonable. Like you do, there needs to be like, a, bro, if you're sexually harassed, especially in this day and age, there's really no, like all this, I don't even want to call it support groups, but all the people that yeah, you before, go to support I, and before you, they had it, right. before they had an excuse because, you right. know, you'd get ostracized. They wouldn't believe you. They'd always take the men's, uh, right. hat, you know, right. so that there's a lot of people that can say, well, I wouldn't tell nobody because nobody would believe me right. or my job was on the line, but we're in a different time now. Right. Yeah. Now, now it's like me too. Believe all women. Oh, like we got, you know, Hey, bring your story for, we got you. You know, it's like, it's like yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of different. So I get a, a question right. kind of along those lines. It's like, so I'm just g- scrolling through the stuff here. And one of the headlines is report that Vince Vince McMahon paid 12 million to four women used NDAs to hush sexual misconduct allegations. Well, what good are NDAs? Right. How's this getting out? Who's talking about it? That, who, that's who, my point. You know what it's I mean? Like, well, it's, it's, this is, you know, because their friends are talking about it. It's like I said, right. remember in the Monica Lewinsky thing? She didn't Linda, bury Clinton. It was Linda her fat Tripp. friend that yeah. wanted Linda, all the I signed glory. An NDA. I signed an NDA. When, uh, when I was working for Wrestling Inc. and everybody was trying, and everybody were having a go at Raj for why he hired me. And Raj wanted to set up a new website on the side. He said, I still want to work with you. I just can't work with you publicly. And he wanted to set up a new website on the side. I had to sign an NDA with him. Like when we fell out, I um I spoke about it with everyone. He didn't do anything. Hmm. Like Raj Gary didn't do anything about it. Like so, so they're no good. They're not, <laughs> no, they're not worth anything. Like no one's gonna. You, you need. I'm to, sure. I'm sure. If if uh, you know if if they were applied to the full extent of the law, it's good because I've signed them and I've read them, and you can get in a lot of trouble. You signed it. I've never signed an NDA. You. What does an NDA look like? Basically, it's don't don't tell anybody. Yeah, it's What's a the non-disclosure language? agreement, and then What's it'll the have like, like it'll have yeah, like, it'll say you cannot discuss anything that has to do with uh, outgoing business relationship between said and said party between these dates or forever in perpetuity, whatever the thing is that you sign. Yeah, it's Each almost it's different. Like any lawsuit where you sign for money, like I always act, says, like don't I actually signed an NDA on the TNA lawsuit until Dutch decided to open his <laughs> mouth. If he would have shut the <laughs> up and just kept it, you know. Uh, the way it is, I wouldn't have answered him. But now right. he just got fired back on. Right. 